Okay, we are live. Hello guys. So today I'm going to be working on a Max Voxel ship, or at least a very big ship. It's something I started on my first test stream, but I haven't resumed it in a while. Um, yeah, if you're watching YouTube or you're completely new, I've been slowly working on a Max Voxel sized ship. This is what I've done so far. Uh, we just have the cockpit space. We have tons of pong glass, but I'm probably going to redo this whole thing because I've changed my mind on a lot of design choices. Um, secondly, on my first stream I had some of this turret done here. And I was going to have two very large turrets on either side of the ship, um, but I've also changed my mind on the turrets because Number one, I think laser weapons is a poor choice for a huge ship. If we're going to go big, we might as well go big. We might as well have rail cannons. Um, and then secondly, I had some strange problems with the turret because I was using some experimental new tech that I got from Vega, which is these holy turntables. Uh, theoretically, I should have been able to make smaller, more compact turrets by having these holes in the turntables. But um, yeah, there's just a weird issue where it doesn't turn quite as fast as normal, so I've decided to remake it and just have a very standard normal stack turntable setup like I normally do. Um, because I'm just going to play it safe now, I don't want any more bugs, I don't want any more problems, we're just going to make do with this. Um, I'll just give you a quick demonstration. So this was the old one that we did on the first stream, first test stream. And I had a cannon set up for it here. But I changed my mind, I started again with this one. And the reason for doing so is, if you can see, this one is quicker than that one. So I'm not sure what it is, but um, depending on how you build the turntable stand, it can be a little bit slower for seemingly no reason. So I'm just going to use my old tried and tested turntable stands and I've started a new turret and that's what we're going to do today. We're just going to finish this off um, and then maybe do a little bit of a generator setup that I've been working on and that's it. Okay, I'm going to shut up now because I don't think anyone's watching at the moment. Um, people will trickle in later maybe. We're just going to do a couple of hours maybe. I'm just going to quietly continue this until some people show up. Okay, so I'm just going to do the roof here. Originally I bolted it from on top, but that didn't look very nice, so I've redone it. I've got bolts on the outside, on the inside, sorry. That just looks better. So yeah, it's going to be gobbledygook for a lot of people watching, so I'll just wait until anyone wants to ask any questions, ask away. We can talk about big ships. I'll just quietly work away. <clears throat>
This is the roof of the turret. So this is an awkward turret, it's just going to be coming out of one arm, out the side. I'm going to have a huge 12 rail cannon cannon sticking out on this arm. And I'm going to do the same on this one, this is mirrored. So every time I add something to this turret, I need to do the same on the mirrored version. If only Starbase had a mirror tool. Connect the front. How did I do this again? So we've got a ridiculous amount of armor on this thing. So no restrictions on the ship whatsoever. I'm gonna keep the durability at least seven for the whole ship, I think. Durability. Why is the durability so low? Yeah, I'll get back to this later. Some weird durability issues. It's hard to see of all these bolts.
There we go. Let's get that durability to seven. This one's holding well. Lots of tedious work to do today. Just bolting, getting the plates on. Nothing too exciting. Let's get the mirrored turret to have the same durability, for some reason it doesn't. Get it to at least a six. Okay, the 
that's not going any higher. Okay, seven durability is good enough. I'll leave out that. Just save it. Okay, so for those who just joined, we're just working on a big turret for a large Max Voxel battleship. Um, but I'm going to redo the whole ship because I'm not happy with the design choice. But it's going to have two giant turrets on either side, and it's going to be mouse aimed. We're just finishing off the body of the turrets here. Now we need to do the side armor, and eventually we'll have an arm with cannons on the side of it. Probably won't get there in this stream now. Let's do the side bits. Hey, damage, good to see you. I was getting a bit bored here, no one here. <laughs> um, I'm good, how are you? if my stream chat is working. Normally you see the message on my screen. Yep, we're doing a, another dual turret ship. Oh yeah, chat's working. Good, good. Yeah, um, yeah, I might as well show you again because you just joined and you're like the only person watching. But uh, yeah, we're continuing a Max Vauxhall ship that I did on my first test stream. I don't know if you saw that. Um, this big thing here. It's got a ton of glass on it, because I'm going to have a really good view range. Oh lord. <laughs> well, it's, it's never spun that fast before. That's new. Wow. Yeah, the turrets are going to be super fast, as you can tell. <laughs> That's really quick. Yeah, it's not meant to spin that fast, but um, yeah, we're gonna have a Max Voxel battleship, tons of very, very, very long glass, and we're gonna have two giant turrets on either side of it. And I'm currently finishing off the body of the turrets here. During our first stream, yeah, Max Voxel. And guns, yeah. And um, 
<clears throat> Originally, I, I was going to have some really, really super heavy armored turrets here. Um, and I was using uh, the holy turntable that I got from Vega. It's a damaged part here. Um, but I had to cancel this design because I found that the holy turntables, for whatever reason, they're just a little bit slower. So I've had to cancel that and restart the turret. I'm just using very plain, simple stack turntable setups using plates, no bugs, no funny techniques, just very simple tried and tested plates connected to the turntables for stacking. Um, because for whatever reason, that's just quicker than the buggy turntables here. <coughs> yeah, they're just a bit broken at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, the simple compared to my latest turrets. My latest turrets, I was using bugged turntables that I got from other people, like these holy ones, and I had um, different bug parts as well. Um, and they do work, but for some reason they're just slightly slower. And when you want a, a ship that takes tons and tons of damage from enemy fire, you need the turntables to be as fast as you possibly can, because they actually slow down a little bit when a ship takes damage. So as a result, you want your turntables to be super, super quick. So I'm just going to stick to old, tried and tested methods of just plate connections. Very simple. Well, it's not simple, but you know what I mean. Okay, let's continue this. I'm just going to finish armoring this turret. But yeah, that's one of the reasons I haven't streamed much, is because I literally spent two full days trying to fix this broken turntable, and I just couldn't fix it. That's usually how a lot of my design streams go. I just spend a very, very long time trying to fix the smallest of issues, and that's often why I don't stream. Tiny gap here for the turrets. There's going to be an arm of the turret attached to this little rod. Yeah, feel free to ask anything, because I know most people watching will just not have a clue what's going on. Also doing a lot of um, object and bolt saving techniques on this ship. Uh, the turrets are an exception because the turrets need to have tons of bolts. <coughs> but uh, generally for the majority of the ship that we're going to be building, <coughs> it's going to use um, thick chunky plates and I'm using the least amount of bolts that I can while keeping the durability high because I don't want the ship to be very laggy when it's finished where was I? Do 
this side now. I have to do everything twice as well because I need a mirrored turret and there's no mirror tool. So I'm going to do every change twice. count low on a fighter yeah well the thing is um, I was talking to happy trigger and I've never personally experienced problems with um, lag but I've noticed on every time I fought him or every time I've seen him fight on his streams whenever he uses a big ship so something that's like 5,000 tons or heavier he gets some serious lag, like his ship will almost completely freeze and everyone freezes and that's one of the reasons why he's unable to build big ships because his ships are very good but they're just, just really really lag inducing because of all the bolts and small objects. Um, I haven't experienced this problem personally because all my old Max Voxel ships, they were all very beginner-ish. They all had very big plates. They had very big plates, not many objects. All the objects were all spread out across the ship. And I think the reason why, why big ships, competitive big ships, they tend to lag so bad is because people are building them like tournament fighters. They're giving these Max Voxel ships tons of tiny, tiny sacrificial armor. I'll show you. Let me just have a look. So people are building Max Voxel ships, or just big ships, using all of these tiny, tiny onanum rails for their sacrificial plating. Very good on small meta fighters, but not good if you're building big. Yeah, I mean, I've also I've got a generator set up as well, and I've purposely used the fewest amount of bolts that I can. Um, and I've also I'm trying not to use world blocks for most of the ship, uh, world cubes, because they count as objects. Um, and I think the reason why every single ship by a happy trigger that's big gets completely overrun by lag is because every time he gets shot at, the lasers have to pass through tons and tons of tiny sacrificial armor. And I've seen his streams. Every single piece of sacrificial armor he's got has like six bolts each. So um, in theory, I think the lag is caused by bullets passing through a ridiculous amount of small objects and bolts. So that's what I'm trying to prevent. I'm trying to use less bolts, thicker sacrificial blocks like these, or these even. These are quite thick and chunky. Uh, that way we get a good middle ground. We can still block rail cannons. We can still have a very heavily armored, big sized ship, maybe even Max Voxel. But we hopefully we won't get ridiculous lag, um, because I, I do know that you can have big ships and get shot from all sides and not experience lag, because I did have that on some old ships. Um, but it's because my old ships, my old big ships, they were very simple. They just had big plates, they didn't have so many bolts and sacrificial plates in one spot. So I'm just going to apply some of that here. I'm going to find a middle ground. I'm going to have sacrificial armor, but it's not going to be so ridiculous. It's not going to be meta. It's just going to be it's going to be good, but it's not going to be meta. Yeah, I'll show you a little test bench I have where I'm testing all the armor. 2 seconds, just saving. You can be prepared for a durability and bolting video with Happy Trigger and me. Yeah, I generally, I usually bolt a bit more when I'm on stream because I'm under pressure. I just go, did 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 But if I'm not streaming, I take my time a bit more with the bolts. 
Um, so yeah, I'll just show you some of the armor modules I've created for the new heavy ship that I'm going to make. So I've got a separate save file, and I've been testing all these different types of armor, sacrificial armor. And what they all have in common is they all use very few bolts, because I'm bolting through multiple plates, and when you bolt through multiple plates, you don't have to use as many bolts, which I'm sure you know already. Um, and in addition to that, we've got thicker sacrificial plates as well, but they're still very effective. So we've just got one small line of sacrificial armor here. It's not that big, literally nothing compared to Happy Trigger ships in terms of sacrificial armor. It's only four bolts each. Again, that's nothing. We've got two plates behind it. And if we have a look and we take some shots at it, it can take multiple rail cannon shots and it won't even go through. Um, and this is very, very cheap optimized armor, so it won't lag your whole PC or connection when you get shot at, hopefully. So the whole ship is kind of going to be built with that in mind. I'm just going to keep the armor um, as lag free as possible, less bolts, less plates, but at the same time, it's still going to be heavily armored and it's still going to have sacrificial. I'm going to see if I can get away with using these small ones. DJ Hightower, do your bolts uh, reach through a beam? Two plates? And a, yeah, that's correct, yeah. Um, so if I have a look, we each bolt here passes through two plates and a decorative plate, just like he said. Um, that uses way less bolts. Um, for some reason, the game has a weird effect where if you bolt through multiple plates, the durability is just higher, so you can have higher durability for fewer bolts. Um, and then I'm just going to be using less sacrificial plates as well, and I'm hoping a combination of all of that, it's going to have much less lag on my big ships than Happy Triggers. Hopefully. We'll see. And here I've been working on a generator room. It's 192 generators. Oh yeah, yeah, you can do you can do three plates with the bolts, for sure. And you might as well make the top layer a really thick sacrificial plate, that makes it really good. Damage. One thing that I what I tested a lot and not a lot of people know is that your smaller beams has more stress than they can take, but longer beams are way, way strong strange. And hold a few railgun shots in the perfect angle. Small beams. Yeah, I, I kind of figured that out as well. I, I didn't know it can take a rail cannon, but I did find out that uh, lo larger beams they can take small arms fire. They can take a laser cannon before getting destroyed. Um, and I generally, that's another thing as well because I'm building a big ship. I'm going to be using 96 beams instead of what everyone else does. Everyone else be using all of this all the time. I'm not going to be doing that, um, and I'm preferably I'm going to have even bigger beams than that. I'm going to be using these as well. So pretty much everything in the entire ship is going to be more spread out, and it's going to be optimized for lag, basically. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about my generator setup. I have a, a 192 generator setup here. It's just enough to power 24 rail cannons. So I'm going to have 12 on each turret, um, and I'm a little bit worried about the object and bolt count of all of these generators. But I had a look at um, large generators and their output, and large generators are really, really bad in comparison. They, they take up 50% more space and weight than normal generators. 24, not often, mostly 36 used, but longer is strength against gunshots. Yeah, yeah, beams, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I understand if you're building a small meta fighter and you want your ship to be able to take rams, I, I get it that the, um, the damage from ramming is spread out through all the parts, correct? So I, I totally get that, but for a big ship I, I don't think that's necessary. 
Okay, I'll just get back to my turrets now. But yeah, this is the generator room. This is going to go inside the big ship once it's done. Uh, this is my biggest concern. I'm worried that this might cause some lag. That's it. Big gens are very, very good. On long runs, not good for fighters because fighters don't need full power powers. Yeah, yeah, true. And for fighters, <clears throat> big or small, you want your fighters to have as much fight, um, power output as possible. So big gens are pretty much useless on a fighter uh, or battleship. You know, unless you're a bit more casual and you don't need that much power for your weight and speed but if you're a bit more hardcore and you want a really good fighting ship you really have to go with small generators because it's 50% less weight it's 50% less voxels um, and it's just more power so you have to really okay back to the turret oh you want to see the bolts on the gens all right two seconds let me go back I did use as few as possible while trying to keep it at 7 durability. Let me get back there again. Oh no, I might as well check it now. So, you want to see the bolts. So as you can see, it's not too many, is it? Like, I've seen ships where it's just five times as crowded as that. So I think it's okay. Hopefully that won't cause lag. We'll see. Another thing I've been experimenting with uh, armor is that um, some forms of armor, like these blocks here, they can't take a rail cannon hit directly. Like they can take it from the side for sure. They cannot take a rail cannon hit directly, it's like straight through the flat side. But if you've got even a mediocre plate behind it, like just a small plate behind it, and it gets hit from a rail cannon directly in front. It won't pass through both plates. This plate will be able to survive, which is unusual. So <clears throat> it's just something I've been experimenting with. Just damage soakers. They don't completely stop a rail cannon shot, but they soak up most of the damage. So you could get to keep most of the plates behind it. Just lots of little optimization tricks to try and keep the armor as, as little as possible for a max voxel. Or simultaneously having some resistance to rail cannons. Okay, I've waffled too much now, let's just finish this turret. to the back. Yeah, it's really difficult to get a high durability on turrets. I, <clears throat> it's seven at the moment, but once I've finished the turret, it's probably going to be barely two.
that's not doing anything. A bit much if you take more user beams around you, you're good. If it's laggy, spool up your gens first to 100% and then start moving. Don't move at all before the gens are on full power. Reduce the lag, but for now, I don't know why. Ah, that's weird. Thanks for the tip. So, generators just produce more lag when they're not at full power. Interesting. It's a fuel cham chamber that causes the lag. Huh. Yeah. I can't wait to test it because <clears throat> all my oldest Max Voxel ships, they were they had no sacrificial armor, they didn't have that much in general. So I'd be very curious to know if one of my newer builds will have lag like everyone else, we'll see. Yeah, lots of tedious bolting to do before I can get to the fun stuff. Okay, so the durability has gone down a bit. And that's because the turntable stand that's holding everything together is slowly losing its durability the heavier the turret gets. So the heavier I add to this, <clears throat> the less durability it's going to have until eventually it's probably going to have only like two durability when I'm done the turret. <clears throat> if controlled by YOLO you can cut your FPS in half because YOLO lags too. Ah, yeah, well. I'm so far behind, I, I don't even use generator scripts, I just have manual buttons, so I'm sure that will help a bit. Where was I? Oh yeah. The front. Just in case somebody gets a sneaky shot below the turret here, gotta get some armor in there. Yeah, once, the, once I finish the turret, I'm going to have a good look here, and I'm going to see if there's anything I can do to raise the durability to like 7 or something. I'll probably... I wanted it to have this much free space, because if I give it this much free space here, 
Now that means this can turn 180. This can be a 180 turret that can shoot backwards, but I think I'm being optimistic. I think if I want to keep this turret extremely heavy, while at the same time keeping the durability high, I'm going to have to sacrifice some of its potential move range and instead just add more beams on the side and connect it to the side and that will give it more durability. Because yeah, I don't really need 360 spin with this one. <clears throat> Durability doesn't matter, maths and beams make your ship strong. Really? Ah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I've never really cared about durability, to be honest with you. The, the only reason I care now is because I have this weird issue on my turrets where whenever the ship loses parts, so if, if I'm if I'm in heavy combat, it doesn't work if it's like really light combat, but if I'm like in really really heavy combat and some parts get uh, get blown up, not even blown up, um, if the parts break off, so you know when your, your ship is taking damage and then parts start breaking off one after the other, they're like going ping 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 and they're all snapping off, that's what causes the turrets to slow down during combat. <clears throat> Um, and I think that's something to do with the durability of the ship because I, I did try to stop that by just putting like a thousand bolts into the sacrificial armor that didn't stop it so I think maybe just the overall durability of the ship needs to be very high to stop the small sacrificial armor from just breaking off one after the other I don't know I don't know Anyway, that's my reason for trying to keep the durability above 7 at least, because I don't want to have that issue. Especially if this is a, a really, really big turret ship, because I'm going to be getting shot from all sides, and I'm going to have tons of parts breaking off in every direction, and that's going to slow the turrets down a lot if I don't have a high durability, I think. We'll see. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I wish it was just mass. If it is just mass, that would be great because I really, really struggle to get that durability high. Yes and no. In your case, it's the parts that's what make your ship strong. If you lose only one important parts of it, it's damaged, everything slows down a lot. No beams. Um, they have. There's. There's no reason to have them inside a turret. Um, they're, they're literally just no different to bulky, funny-looking plates because you can't weld any beams or use any welded parts in the turret. <coughs> But yeah, one thing I noticed though is that problem I just told you about earlier where the turrets slow down from part breakage, it, it seems to be especially bad if it's small parts. If you lose a massive part of your ship, like literally one half of your entire ship breaks off, you, yeah, you get a temporary speed loss on the turrets. It's only for like two seconds and it's back to normal. If you lose lots of tiny, very small sacrificial armor, even if it's very insignificant, a very small amount, for some reason it causes the turrets to lose control if you lose too many pieces at once. Thanks Dim Manchik for the follow. But yeah, if you um if you have too many tiny sacrificial armors breaking off one after the other, it doesn't matter how heavy or big part of the ship it is, it, it just causes the turrets to slow down. It's just a part count thing. I don't, I don't know why that happens, but 
I'm going to try higher durability and see if that fixes it anyway. Uh, higher durability and a combination of just thicker plates. That's the best I can do. We'll, we'll just see if that happen works. Okay, I've got the side bit left. Something's not good here. Good game. Um, what, Starbase? Yeah, brilliant game. Uh, <laughs> damage beam welds at a strong connection, it's real 10k durability. Oh, yeah, I, I know beams are strong, but. The beams, you, you can't weld them to the ship. They don't do anything inside a turret. Like inside a turret, the beams are just loose. They have no durability. I mean... I could weld them together. I, I don't think that's going to do anything, though. And j just for the sake of test, I'll... I'll Put a couple of beams stuck onto my turret here and see if it does anything, but I don't think so. Yeah, it's ju it's just yellow. It's got this yellow sign. All part of the frame. Yeah, that, that's pretty much what happens when you put beams on a turret. You just yeah, they don't work. Because it's not part of the ship frame. Okay, so you reckon that these would have high durability even if they're not a part of the ship frame? Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to test that some other day. I just remember I did have a quick go with beams before. I did have a quick beams before with one of my earliest builds. It was um, an elevator. It was one of my first moving parts. And I just remember it had terrible durability compared to when I swapped it with plates. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely I'll look into that later for sure. This side now. Durability is a bit low. This is strange, the durability is very low for some reason. There we go. I'll do the same for the mirrored turret.
What's the tedious bolting to do? Why doesn't the durability want to go any higher? So we've got some strong side armor for the turret as well, sacrificial. We also take some rail cannon hits. We're gonna literally have every single side of the turret be impenetrable. No restrictions. You can check all the yellow dots. That cause the yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, I'll have a look. It's it's just all a bit weird here. Because half these yellow dots are just um, irrelevant. They just there's nothing wrong with them. It's just part of the turret. I see. It's just mostly the stand. This bit. I'm probably going to have to add more beams around the turntable, give it more connections. One thing I could do now is strengthen it with weld blocks. Yeah, I hate all those irrelevant messages as well. Um, pretty difficult to see what's actually got a durability problem and what's just being Starbase. Okay, some weld cubes should add a little bit. Yeah, I could use more beams. Oh, this made it worse. Yeah, you know what, I'll save that for last. I just want to add the side armor. Yeah, I could get rid of some of the bolts, sure. <clears throat> the reason why I have so many bolts and I just have them all on free beams is because I originally wanted this, this thing here, I wanted this to be able to turn. Uh, yeah, I wanted this to be able to turn all the way around. So I, I want this to be able to turn as far as here. And if I add more beams, it won't be able to turn that far. That's okay, I think I'm just going to have to limit the turret's movement because I think I was just being too optimistic because the turret is so big and heavy. I'm just going to have to limit its movement range and add more beams. It's going to be awkward to bolt. Maybe if I slow the camera down. Yep, 
Yeah, I know durability is stretched. Uh, you get a much higher durability if they're stretched around, I do know that. But uh, in a lot of my builds, I have I have to have them more tightly packed. Um, so I have more space to turn the turntables. <clears throat> I was using uh, 360 turntables that were like bugs turntables from some people. Um, but they're just a bit slow. Uh, they have some their own issues. Okay, that should help a little bit. Yep, that's gone up a bit, a little bit. As a result, the turrets will no longer be able to turn 180, which I had originally planned. It's not a huge improvement. Let's do the same in the mirrored turret. Um, well, it depends what you want to do. Um, <clears throat> originally, yeah. See, originally this ship was supposed to have 180 turrets. Originally, I wanted a design where I could be aiming forward here, and then when I need to retreat from combat, I spin the chair around, the turrets flip 180, and I can mouse aim backwards. That was the original design. I was going to have all the thrusters just below it, but I've kind of changed my mind now um, because it's just a bit too. It just sacrifices a bit too much on design um, on strength for the ship like you really have to pick you really have to pick your battles like do you want something that's really really durable really really tough that can take on fighters in duels or do you want something that can really versatile that can shoot backwards and you can use on a live server do cargo whatever um, and I've, I've kind of decided, I've had a lot of thoughts about it, and I've decided I'm going to limit this and I'm just going to have it face forward only. Um, it's going to be a bit more like a tournament ship, but it's just going to be giant, giant Max Voxel version. Uh, and if I do want to have more versatility and I do want to have backwards fire or anything like that, maybe just for fun later once the ship's finished, I'll add an additional small auto turret that shoots backwards or something to watch my own back. Um, yeah, that's all up in the air, that's just for the future. That's also why I've only got 24 rail cannons planned for the turrets, because I want to leave 6 weapons left, so I can potentially have a third turret on the bottom of the ship, um, just for vers versatility, so it can shoot backwards and defend my back or something. We'll see. But yeah, if, we, if we're just going to be shooting straight forward, then I don't need to have all of this. Um, I can have some beams going around it. Which it looks like I'm going to have to do anyway because the durability is just terrible. Because this ship, this turret is way too heavy. Yeah, it's just the top turntable that has bad durability. Um, the entire durability of, of the entire turret, it's getting fallen on top of this one turntable here. Okay, what am I doing? Oh, whoops. Don't need to bolt that. Just bolting the top here. 
So pretty much the weight of the entire turret is falling on this one turntable. Look, should be a bit better. No, it's not. Oh, because we didn't weld the beams yet, that's why. Thanks for the follow, Jungo. I recognize you. And welcome to the stream. Hello. So Damage says, is the turntable working if the hard point is not connected to it by a bolt? Oh yeah, the um, I don't think the hard point has to be connected to the turntable at all. Um, the, the hard point is just very loosely connected with four bolts. Um, but the problem with the hard points is the hard points have a, have a durability limit. The very, very small durability limit. I don't know if it's a glitch or a bug, but turntables have infinite durability limit. They can hold as infinite amount of weight, just as many bolts as you can fit onto it. So everything has to sit on the weight of this turntable for the turret. Okay, where was I? Okay, we're not done yet. We're going to see if we can get a little bit higher durability on this. If we can reach for the bolt here. Oh yeah, it's not about the durability that the hard point has, it's the stress limit. So hard points have a stress limit. Um, once you put too much weight on it, um, <clears throat> it just goes red, it has a stress limit. Uh, turntables have no stress limit, it's infinite. They can have infinite amount of weight, they won't get stressed. Yeah, I don't need to connect a hard point to the turntable, but there's no reason not to do it. The hard point weighs almost nothing. Like for context, what's sitting on top of the turntable weighs... It's going to weigh about 2 million when it's done. I've got about 2 million kg on top of the turntable. So that's 2,000 tons when it's done, that is. <clears throat> Hard point's just 500 kg, that's not going to do anything, so I might as well just leave it stuck on there. Uh, this doesn't want to weld. It's awkward, that's why. Uh. Okay, damage. I'll remove the connection. We'll see. I'm just going to save it first because sometimes when you delete stuff, it doesn't revert back. If I get any durability increase, I bet you it's just going to be a microscopic amount. We'll check anyway. Two seconds, just saving. Okay, I'm going to delete the hard point. We'll see if it gets any more durability. No, it actually lost. Well, the reason it lost durability is I think some of the bolts actually shared here on the wall. But yeah, the durability actually went down. Either way, I don't think it makes a difference. The hard point weighs 500 kg. The turret weighs 2 million. It's really not going to be any difference. It's just going to be neg negligible. 
That's the word for it, I can't even speak, jeez. Okay, I've got to be use weld cubes here because this does not want to attach. On thrusters it makes a difference of one to two digits. Oh, that's interesting. I suppose you do a lot of small builds though, don't you damage? You do like these very tiny drones where everything counts. Oh, you mean you can move the hard point closer? Okay, interesting. 750 durability, that's loads. Okay, we'll see if the turntable gets any more durability. I bolt it from the sides here. No, it's gotten a lot worse. I think maybe the bolt is travelling too far. Let's check again. That is strange. It's just getting worse. Very strange. Yeah, I won't be able to figure this out on stream, I'll figure it out later, but um, durability of the turntables is very weird. Too much bolt stress in one corner. What are you saying? Because I've got too many bolts around here? Yeah, whatever it is, I'll definitely figure it out later. I don't want to pause the whole stream <clears throat> trying to fix one turntable here. I'll do that later. Let's just get the side armor done. Generally when I'm shipbuilding I don't try to bolt everything onto very small bits like this. This is just because it's a turret and it's just really awkward, that's all. I don't know why these blocks keep having issues. Yeah, durability can definitely be a bit weird sometimes. For some reason. You see, normally I uh, I make the decorative plates invisible and I, I lock them. Normally I can bolt straight past them and it's fine. But in this case, it's affecting the decorative plates. I don't know why. Very strange.
There are missing bolts in this place. Okay, I don't know why the decorative plates here. I'll just delete them. You see, I'm bolting straight from here. Okay, this is acting a bit funny as well. plate has two bolts in the deco plating on every side. This is when it gives red. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not even bolting the uh, decorative plates. Like, I'm trying to completely ignore the decorative plates. I'm going straight past it. They shouldn't be affected. I don't know, I've definitely done this before, but um, for some reason this is like the first time I'm getting this issue. Uh, I'll just, I'll save it, and then I'll temporarily remove the decorative plates, and I'll just bolt behind it, and then I'll put them back on. Perhaps that'll work. Delete this. So this works. No, it doesn't. Okay, all good. Let's see if we can put them back on. Seems fine now. Just for whatever reason I wasn't able to make them invisible and bolt behind them like I normally do. Maybe they're too close, I don't know. Slow that camera down. I really like these plates, though, they're really good. That's on in them, that is. Because they... This bolt you are making right now was missing last time. Okay, yeah, maybe maybe I'm confusing myself because I'm on stream and I'm just... making silly mistakes, I don't have no idea. But for, for whatever reason, that last bit of bolting was just not working. Yeah, as I was saying, these plates are really good because they're a bit heavy, but keeps the object count low, and if they're done right, they can block a rail cannon, so very good. 
Good for big ships. Okay, durability's gone down a little bit. Yeah, you tried them too, and I think the ideal... Yeah, I've never tried them on small ships, but I really do think they're, they're the best for big ships because... Or just medium ships, they might not be able to go all around a max voxel ship, that might be too much for the object count. But for big ships in general, they're very good. Like, unfortunately, the way the game is, like, nothing beats just having... It's just spamming 36 centimeter on them. Like nothing beats that. But for big ships where you need to save your parts, these are great. Good, that'll do. Now we gotta do exactly the same thing on the other side because we don't have a mirror tool. For the other turret. Just checking something. Double checking how I bolted the other one. How did this one go bad? I think I had some weird plate issues with the uh, sacrificial armor.
So basically inside the turret we have all these big, very big plates that are glued on from just one glue block. I don't have to worry about these big plates durability at all because they're attached directly to the robot arm. And then I attach all the armor and the surrounding plates to these big high durability plates for the exterior and the sacrificial armor. A bit more difficult than armoring a ship because it's a bit awkward sometimes. Like sometimes you end up with spots like this where you've got to just pile on all the bolts into one tiny little spot. So definitely not the most efficient way of bolting but what can you do? Put the sacrificial back on. Really, really looking forward to building a big ship though, because it's been so long since I last did one. With all the stuff I've learned from the tournaments, it's definitely going to be a lot, lot better. It's also part of the reason I'm doing the turrets first, is because that's the most complicated, annoying part. I like to get the hard stuff done first. So I can have fun later building the actual ship. Um, oh yeah, the auto shooting. Well, I'm not going to rebuild that because that was... I think having a ship that focuses too much on auto turrets is inefficient. Um, one thing I learned from tournaments, obviously, is just efficiency, efficiency, efficiency. And... Um, yeah, it's, it's a fancy, fun gimmick having auto turrets, but they're just not efficient. Um, and it's a lag festival as well. If I build them, <coughs> if I have all the sacrificial armor and two auto turrets, it's gonna just gonna be a lag festival. I won't be able to do anything. Um, but I, I do have plans for possibly having one small moddable auto turret that goes on the bottom of the ship. That's why I've left six weapon slots and I've, I'm only using 24 weapon slots out of the 30 for the rail cannons. I'm going to save six just in case I feel like attempting an auto turret again in the future. Just for fun. We'll see. Sounds good? Cool. It's either going to be like the, the six weapon slots I'm saving. It's either going to be for a an auto turret to watch my own back while I'm fighting in front of me or it's going to be for multi-crew and I'll just have someone else be able to use it and better yet I'll make it like switchable so I can very quickly and easily mod it out and mod it back in in a designer so that way I can have like a multi-crew version or I can have just an auto turret version where it's just an auto on the back we'll see Okay, durability should be above 6. Oh yeah, I do. Um, I showed you earlier on my other blueprint. I had this uh, generator box that was actually 192 generators. That was a complete guesstimate. Estimate. 
Um, but I, I did test, and that's exactly right for 24 rail cannons. It is. Um, I, I tested with um, 12 rail cannons, it was exactly half the power. So 24 should be exactly full power, and if it isn't, I'll just have some spare batteries and I'll just take a few breaks. Thrusters, yeah, they use power, but thrusters only use a fraction, small fraction of the power weapons use. So even if the thrusters use a lot of power, um, I'll probably still get away with doing burst fire and just having lots of batteries and throwing some extra batteries in. If not, I can always add some more generators, it's not that hard. But the main big generator block, that's done. So Okay, so armor on the sides, that's done. Just test it, make sure it's all piece stuck on right. Yeah, most people most people do burst fire early. Uh, the only reason I do rapid fire is because I'm able to, because with the turrets you can aim 24-7, you don't have to take a break if you don't want to. So preferably I want to have excess power on my ships. <clears throat> But because this is a max voxel, well, might be, um, even with turrets I might be a bit slow to target, so I probably don't need rapid fire. Was the ship I followed you in the backfire ship? I don't know, it was a long time ago, I'm not really sure. Like my first uh, ship that had automated turrets, it had a backfire mode just for the automated turrets, but the cockpit couldn't look back, so I had no idea what was going on. Um, but I have built some backfire ships, yeah, with the cockpit that turns as well. But like I said, it, it's it's only for versatility. If you don't really need that versatility, then I'd rather just make the entire ship stronger and face forward. Okay, so I'm just going to do this last little bit on the side. Looks ugly. I know it's it's kind of sagging. Uh, it's kind of sagging below the turret, and that's for a reason because I want it to be like a bit of an armor skirt, in case somebody shoots me from down below. This will catch it. So I'll just try and stick that on next. Yeah, your ship's ugly. You build for functionality, don't you? I try and do a combination of both. Also, generally, if you're building a turret ship, you have to have certain clearance in certain areas, so it usually just ends up looking fancy, even if you don't want it to look fancy. Because you need clearance, obviously, so the ship has to be oddly shaped like an hourglass, in lot of cases anyway. Min-maxing, huh? Yeah. If you min-max so much, you should join the tournaments, that's what everyone does there. Or min-maxing. Okay, so far so good. We've got the entirety of the body of the turret done. Almost. That's the entire rotation part done. It's a huge steel box. Even if you shot this with a huge barrage of rail cannons, it would not penetrate. Completely over engineered because it's going on a max voxel, so I just don't care. I 
This is a test weight I use to test the arm and the durability. We're just going to stick that on the side. You don't build fighters, but I helped out Happy once since he was able to finish the ship without overdoing the bolt limit. He split the bolts in half, nicely done. Nice. I'd say you'd be very good at fighters since you're very good at durability and min maxing. You'd probably be pretty good if you tried. this on. So this is how we get the pitch. So we intricately glue this side arm here. There we go. Okay, so as soon as I glued that sidearm, this is just a test weight. This isn't what the turret is going to look like. Like eventually I'm going to have 20, uh, 12 rail cannons on the side here as the arm of the turret. But I've just got a very t a temporary heavy weight. It's just a temporary weight just so I can get a clue what's going on. As soon as we attach that, the durability dropped to almost 2. So that's the durability we're going to be left with when the turret's finished. And I want to increase that to 7 or something close. You're a bad pilot and you and you can't build fighters. Well, you don't know until you try. Oh, you have tried, okay. <laughs> but you tried it once and it goes very, very wrong. It was a lot of fun loosening. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, it's fun to venture into different aspects. Like, I'm going to be trying drones again, smaller drones, because my big drone just was not working. Um, but the biggest thing with uh, fighters really damage is just armor. You just want to have armor. So. Okay, so that's the body done. And this is really, really durable. No rail cannons will get through this. And we'll eventually we'll get a cannon on there, something like this. Looks good, thanks. This is actually one of my ugliest turrets because it's, it, this one, a bit like your ships, this one's built for pure efficiency. That's why it's got one arm and it's a bit ugly. <laughs> um, it's, it's not a nice looking turret because I just want it to be efficient. But yeah, when it's finished, we'll have like a, a cannon arm like this. Something like this. And we'll flip it. Let's have a look. When it's done, it's going to go onto this ship. Like this. So the cannon's going to be rotating and pitching on the side of the ship, like that. And we're going to have a copy of that, a mirrored version, on the other side. Twelve rail cannons each. And I'm going to work on a copy. I'm going to try and expand the view range so we've got more view, because right now... Right now we can only see upwards. We can only really see upwards. I want to be able to see down as well. So we're just going to work on that. Finish the turrets, do the rail cannons, and then we're good to go. We can get on with the ship, and I don't have to spend so much time doing all this weird bolting. Okay, what time is it? Okay, I think I'll take a break from the turrets. I don't want to burn myself out. I'm just going to finish off a generator room. you don't see a problem on design, it's very nice. In your case, you don't have need a second gun hand on the turret. Thanks. Um, 
Yeah, uh, multi crews are just not efficient, they, and it's not because you can't build them. You can build them; they work. It's just because of the lag. There's a one second delay for whoever's multi crewing. So it's just if you're like a really hardcore PvP person, it's just not viable. If you if you just want to have some fun on the live server, jump into an uncompetitive scene, cargo event or something, and you've got a huge ship. Sure, you can have a multi-crew, you can have automated turrets, you can have all this fancy stuff. But, um, I don't know, I just have a lot more fun when I build ships that have the potential to be somewhat competitive. So yeah, I'll probably... Once I finish the ship, I'll probably think about adding like a third extra little turret. Whether that be a multi-crew or an automated, I don't know yet. And that's just going to be purely for fun, I won't expect much from it. Because this ship is just a fun ship. Okay, I'm just going to save it, and then I'm going to work a little bit on my generators, and then I think I'll call it a day after that. What you can do, build little save points for tripods, or a few of them. Tripod gun test video goes on. Oh, I'd be curious to see that. I never use tripods because aren't they like really weak? Even if you've got a multi crew, it's like you have to have so many people manning them or they're like really weak. I remember someone saying they got nerfed or something a long time ago, but I never used them in the first place so I wouldn't know too much. Okay, here's the big generator room. This is going to go into the ship. 194 generators, 9 durability, as few bolts as possible so it doesn't lag the whole game once we get shot at. I just need to attach some of these propeller tanks, connect it all up, and then I'll probably leave at that for the day. In the early days, ship gun equals tripod. Now it's, let's say, different. Okay, yeah, I look forward to your video. Because I've never really looked into tripods. with the bad durability. I'm going to try and have a very small interior on this ship as well, because it's not a very serious ship. Well, it is serious, it's got 24 rail cannons, but <clears throat> it's not a tournament ship, so I'm going to try and have at least a small interior that you can walk around in.
Can't wait to actually work on the ship. Drongo, I'm still looking at using your turrets for the four rather than a minor. Use it as a battle cruiser. Maxed out on everything as a minor due to the shape. Uh, so you want to convert your four ship into a mining ship? I still haven't seen that. I have to have a look at that. Oh no, your mining ship into a battle cruiser. Sorry. I don't know if you've seen my um, <clears throat> a video I made a few weeks ago, but I, I gave away the uh, the Banshee turrets. It's the turrets I used on the f uh, first, the second tournament that I played in. Um, they're pretty good. They're, they're not as good as my latest tournament turrets, but they're responsive and they don't have any issues, so you could use those. Why is the durability so low? As for better turrets, I actually do sell some of my latest turrets now. So if you ever want to buy any of the latest tank turrets, just contact me on Discord. I'll give you a discount. Okay, I'm lost now. For some reason the durability has dropped. And I'm not sure why. Jongo is rich, he doesn't need a discount. Great, great. I always need credits because I just don't mind. <laughs> You've been looking at the uh, Necrome as its theme. I haven't seen that ship either. Well, I have seen most ships, I just don't know them by name. Cool, yeah, do. Have a look at them. <clears throat> Keep in mind though, my turrets generally, they're a bit, they're still a bit buggy. And they don't like to be left unhosted, so if you if you stop your ship anywhere and then you fly away from the ship, they probably will bug out. But as long as you're in your ship, and you finish in your ship, then it's all good. Okay, something caused the durability to drop to 3. And I'm a bit confused here. I'll just add extra bolts. Warhammer 40k ship. Ah, I haven't actually played that game. I've played StarCraft, but I haven't never played uh, Warhammer. It looks quite similar. Just um, Warhammer's a bit more. How do I say? Edgy. Then StarCraft, I suppose? I don't know anything about it though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I always... I never have more than 10 million credits. For me, that's... Uh, having 10 million credits is a lot for me. Um, and the reason that is, is because I usually spend it all whenever there's a live server event. So whenever there's a cargo event, I'll usually buy something nice. And I'll make a YouTube video out of it, and then my money's gone. So yeah, selling ships, that probably... I'll 
probably start doing that more often from now on. Yeah, Damage sent me 15 million credits recently. That's the most money I've ever had. <laughs> um, thanks for that. But uh, I actually spent like 10 million of it already. Uh, I just I just bought a hundred a really good uh, deal on Krasium. I bought a hundred of it in one go because I, I can't really find Krasium. And I have plans to buy a lot of rail cannons in the future. Yeah, no problem, Jungle. I'm not sure what you're thanking me for. The turrets, I think? <laughs> Did you sell that 100 Krasium damage? <laughs> so you gave me money and I just paid it right back to you. I've gotten better at mining. I can get like 40 Yimrim or Wirem, whatever you say it, pronounce it. I can get like 40 Wirem an hour now. But yeah, designing ships and just sending a quick blueprint and a quick text file of how to use the ship and then getting 15 million, that's actually, I can see why designers are selling ships. It's very easy. Okay, we've bolted all the propellant tanks. I've lost a little bit of durability though, so I just need to add some more. Oh cool, you're using one of my gun setups, Jungo? Nice. No problem. And yeah, selling. Uh, I didn't realize the power of selling until recently. I, I sold, like I've never sold anything, and then I sold to, um, I sold to two people before you, Damage. Um, and then I sold to you. Uh, you were my biggest customer because you bought all three ships at the same time. And yeah, I've just made a ton of credits instantly. Very nice. <laughs> okay, I'm so lost here, I'm just trying to <laughs> get the durability higher. Very poor job of bolting here. You made over a hundred million selling those that drone setup. I know that's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, sure, Jungo. Um, I'm selling the free tanks that I used in my last uh, PvP video. Um, they're a bit. They're very experimental. They're very buggy. Well, they're not. They're not that buggy, but. <clears throat> All three of them are different to my older turret ships, they use damaged parts. So they will appear red and broken in a designer, but they, they work perfectly, you just have to buy it. Um, so yeah, if you ever want to buy any one of those ships, let me know. 
from the Discord. Um, but fair warning though, um, even though I am selling ships, I still don't do commissions. Like I don't do specific stuff for specific people because that's just going to ruin my time and energy. Um, so yeah, if you want to use any one of my turrets, just just to um, for one of your ships, you just have to rip them out, rip them out, rip the YOLO out, rip the network relay if they have one, uh, and then just put it onto your ship. And you might have a bit of trouble if you've never used a turret before, you might be a bit confused. Okay, but my Banshee, the one I released on YouTube um, a few weeks ago, the free one, that's a bit more simple and I have a video explaining it as well, so if you really want to put one of my turrets onto your ships, even though it's not as good as my latest turrets, it doesn't have that damage part bug and it's definitely easier to use and put on a ship. Cool, cool. Okay, so I've attached all the propellant tanks to the generator setup. I think I'll just mess around for two minutes and uh, call it a day because I'm getting a bit tired of designing for today. I have to make dinner. But yeah, this should be enough to power 24 rail cannons. I'm going to put this in the center of the ship. It's going to go dead in the center. Um, and I have uh, some space for a reason. <laughs> I have some space for a door. The door doesn't work at the moment because I haven't really connected it properly. Let me just uh, connect it. There we go. So this is going to be in the ship. We're going to have a little door. It'll be the generator room. We go inside, we can close the door. And then if I happen to buy this ship on the live server, I have a maintenance room, I can take out most of the fuel rods, replace them, whatever. And get out. It's got an extra cover of onenum plating, so in case any shots come through the ship's main armor, I'll have an interior hull, just one layer of onenum around the generators, so yeah, good protection. And I've already tested, it can power double this. So yeah, 24 rail cannons will be able to power. I don't know how much it will power once I've got thrusters. Once I've got like 200 thrusters on board, I'm probably going to need some more batteries or generators and maybe do a bit more burst fire, but for now it can power 24, so that's good. Cool, thanks Jongo. And uh, thanks Damage. Oh yeah, I'm going to have four ammo containers as well, rail cannons. Yeah, I'll probably call it a day here. Um, I generally don't stream too long. I'll just save it. Oh, that's already saved. Yeah, I generally don't stream too long because um, I don't know. I just I get sidetracked very easily. Usually, when I when I design by myself, I take very very frequent pauses and I just take take ten minutes at a time. I'm just sitting still, staring into space. So I, I am still finding it a bit difficult, but two hours is okay, I guess. Enough firepower for sure. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Cool. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, thanks for the chat. I'm going to head off. End the stream. All good. We all need a break. Yeah, cool. Thanks, Damage. Bye-bye. Yeah, I'll see you on Happy Stream later. And thanks, Jongo. Bye-bye.